Hello everybody, greetings from New York. As you can see behind me, I'm here at the Mashable office. Uh, I'm using their internet and they've been kind enough to let me use this bit of their office as well to, to record this video for you today. Um, this event, I received an invitation a couple of, um, about a month or two back and um, unfortunately I'm here in the US on an exchange program for journalists and as much as I would like to be there with you all today. It, it, it brings me great pleasure to be able to join you um, via the internet. I'm recording this video, just in case you're interested, just on my uh, MacBook Pro. And um, it really underscores how easy it is to produce video content these days. And I'm, I know a lot of you are bloggers, but hopefully after this maybe seven to ten minute talk of mine that I can somehow leave you with a little bit of, of um, insight or maybe just a little bit of inspiration um, to really get you going. And now, one of my sessions um, the other day was all about digital video. And it really reinforced the fact that digital video is the future. Um, you know, while we still tune in to TV, I believe that more and more people are watching or you know are watching video content on the internet and right now the challenge for all of us is to be able to produce compelling videos and post them online my history with producing videos dates back to 2005 I was working with a TV network but in my free time I produced a video podcast with my three siblings Joanna James and Dorothy we called it hit which stood for hot and interesting topics now Podcasting wasn't all the rage at that time. It even hadn't hit the mainstream. But we knew we wanted to do something um, to do podcasting. But because there were already a lot of people doing it uh, abroad, we thought the easiest way to break into the market was do something that only a few people, a handful of people, were doing at that time. So we decided on a video podcast. Now, if I'm trying to remember if... Our first videos were shot just like I'm doing today, using, using the webcam of my MacBook Pro, um, or maybe it was a PowerBook back then. Uh, after a few episodes, we were successful, and I went out and bought um, a digital video camera, and we used that to, to shoot the show. Now, it was tough because my, my siblings would host the show with me, but I'd write it, I, and I'd edit it, and um, I, we, I'd do all the research, but that's how I learned how to edit on Final Cut Pro. That's really how I learned to produce, you know, digital content, just by, by experimenting. Um, but it was great because, uh, because there's so little of us doing it. We got attention on iTunes. We're an iTunes featured podcast. We were featured in, in, the U in shows in the U.S. and Canada. And that's great. Uh, fast forward to today, and I spend my weekends working on a tech show for Rappler called Tech Rap. And I, I hope... Um, those of you in the audience today have checked it out. If not, it's at rappler.com slash techrap. Now, I did work for GMA uh, for a couple of years, for about a decade. And having worked in TV, it's, it's interesting to see how there are about 10 to 15 people, you know, that are a part of a show. On Tech Rap, there are basically about three or four of us. Three of us who do most of the work. Uh, me and my associate producer do all the writing and the research. I also do a little bit of camera work. My video editor also doubles as a cameraman, and we basically shoot all the B-roll that we need for our show. Um, my associate producer will help look for extra B-roll that we can use. And then we have a, a, a graphics girl, Chai, who comes in and just does whatever graphic, uh, requir you know, produces whatever graphic requirements that we may have for that particular show. It takes us, um, it takes us about two to three days in total, um, working part-time two to three days, a full time on a Saturday to really just put the entire show together. Now, today I was asked to talk about you know how content is king on the internet. Now, as a writer, um, as a journalist who, who went to journalism school, you know you're always taught content is king. I say the same thing when I do my lectures about social media and the, and the, the relevance of, of of putting out content on social media. Content is king. Um, if you have great content. Um, it really is the way to attract viewers or, or listeners or readers. And that applies to digital video too. 
I guess the difference is when you're producing video, when you think about content, it's just not the meat. Um, uh, it's not just the meat of, of what you're doing, but it's also content in terms of execution. Um, that's the way I see it. And so when you say you have great content, it's think of it this way. You know, you think about um, words to use. Um, when you're writing a piece, you know, maybe they're flowery words, great adjectives, or basically words that can really describe a scene and capture the imagination of the person reading your piece. You, on video, it's a bit different. And so, instead of you using just words, you use visuals to be able to capture an audience. So, um, think about that. But uh, I want to just go, I, I, I'm looking at my time, I, I've, I'm about six minutes in, so I don't want to take all of your time today, but do know that um, on Tech Wrap we average from 5,000 views a week. We have one video that has about a million views, and I look at the you know the fluctuation of the view of views, and we do have a loyal audience. But there are times when our views spike, 20,000, 60,000. These are great numbers for us, and at the end of the day. It really boils down to great content. What's great content for the tech community? Basically, if we review a device that hasn't re been reviewed before, that's how we got the um, S4 video to get a million views. It was we got early access to the device, we signed an NDA. As soon as the embargo was lifted, we posted that video on YouTube and on Rappler, and it has more videos than any other S4 review um, hands-on video. So we're happy about that. Um, the Cherry Mobile and Star Mobile videos, the local manufacturers produce awesome 5,000 peso Android-powered smartphones. Those videos get a lot of views as well. And it's, it's pretty interesting to see that if you, and it's you know, pretty clear, as long as you have really great content, those videos are really going to get more views. Put yourself in the seat of a viewer. Put yourself, I mean, you're going through a list of videos on YouTube or on Facebook, if they're shared on Facebook. And the only ones that you're really going to click through are the ones that you know have, are covering a topic that you're really, really interested in. But that's just the first step. Getting people to click through to like your video. Now, TechRap has, over the course, we've just celebrated our first year anniversary recently, has over time um, come up with a loyal user base. And I feel like the, the reason why that's so is because we produce great content week after week after week. You know, what if on week two we had a lousy show? The people who had clicked through on, to watch week one would probably drop off and maybe might not come back for week three. Maybe week three wasn't that great either, then we just lose them for good. And so think about that as well. Think about... Um, and I know we spend about you know twelve hours a week um, on the show, but I think a big chunk of the time that, and, and if I could have more time, I'd spend researching, coming up with great story ideas, um, and you know, another frustration is access to the de to the devices. Today, the reason why I'm at Mashable is I'm doing I did an interview with one of their tech editors about Google Glass, but the reality of the uh, the reality is. You know, people have already done stories about Google Glass way back in April, uh, and it's already in November. And this is the first time that we've been able to come up close with the device. So these little things like that, you know, are factors that I really think about. Uh, I'm speaking as a tech journalist um, doing videos, uh, tech videos um, on the Internet. So think about what it is you are doing. You know, what is your blog about? Um, and what kind of content um, can I put out there that will really people will find in interesting? Just always remember that this whole new world of online video is very, very different from producing videos for TV. And even Tech Wrap, for example, isn't the length of a TV show. In fact, I may have to shorten Tech Wrap a little bit further. Um, it runs about eight to ten minutes because this whole new audience is, you know, has a shorter attention span. Um, think about that as well. You know, think about your audience. Think about those those factors. And finally, like I said earlier, think about execution. I'm running on my tenth minute, so I'm going to wrap this up. Think about execution. Uh, I'm thinking about buying a DSLR um, while I'm here, I'm switching from Nikon to Canon. Maybe get a 70D. Um, I haven't really had much time to to go around, but. 
the last thing I do was experiment, uh, was invest in some great equipment and uh, use that, uh, use, you know, so that you can come up with um, compelling video. Uh, you always have to worry about video now if you're going to produce video for the internet. So do that. You know, come up with great stories. Think about your audience and how you can cater to their special, unique needs. And last but not least, get great equipment. But don't worry. Like I said, I'm shooting this on my MacBook Pro. Um, the last episode of Tech Wrap was shot on a Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. It's a smartphone. Um, so just use what you have, but make the most out of it. And remember, at the end of the day, really, people are really going to judge you based on your output, on your video. And how well you do depends on how much time you spend on it and how much of your heart you pour into it. So from here in New York, I'm Michael Josh. I hope I was able to, to leave you with, with some great insights today and have a great time at Blogopolis. If you have any tech questions um, or any qu follow-up questions about um, doing videos on the internet, send me a tweet. It's at Michael Josh or send me an email. You can use my TechRap email address. It's techrap at rappler.com. Thanks, guys.